I've been thinking about that first episode all week long, and I've come to the conclusion that I'm really excited for whatever this show is going to bring next. That first episode obviously centered around Gwen Cooper. That's kind of our perspective coming into this Torchwood. And um, this episode is called Day One. And so I kind of feel like we're probably going to continue to follow from her perspective, at least for a little while. I'm hoping as the show continues, we get to know all of the characters better. I'm, I'm sure that we will. Obviously, the first episode really focused on her and, and maybe getting to know Captain Jack Harkness a little bit more. And uh, we, we had that bomb drop that he can regenerate like the, the man doesn't die after what happened with Rose and the, resurrecting him or I guess maybe I should say the TARDIS and, and resurrecting him very interesting development it makes me really kind of wonder what has he been through since we last saw him in the the ser series one finale of Doctor Who I, I I guess the more pressing question is how long has it been for him for a man who can't die it could have been one year, two years, a hundred years. I, I want, I want to know more. And I, maybe that was kind of their way of maybe retooling his countenance and persona a little bit. Like he's been through a lot more than he had been the first time that we met him. I mean, he still, you know, cracked jokes and had a little bit of a personality, but him and maybe it's just the setting of the tone of the show is a lot more kind of serious. And mm. I'm curious to get to know some of the other characters as well. You know, we. We got just like a little glimpse of them in the first episode with, I think, Toshiko. Most of what we know about them kind of came from the alien props they, they took home. Toshiko with, she's kind of bookish, right? She's, you know, a learner. She she took something that allowed her to quickly scan books. I, that was my understanding or my interpretation at least. So I think that she's going to be really intelligent, really book smart, really come in with information when they need it. Owen, uh, well... I'm kind of going to give Owen and the writers of the show the benefit of the doubt a little bit and just give him a clean slate because I imagine what they were going for was just like a much more literal interpretation of a Red Bull commercial. Red Bull commercial? I'm sorry. Old. Nope. Axe body spray commercial. There it is. Third time's the charm. Um, which, you know, I, I think they were just kind of going for, oh, he's just kind of like a socially awkward dude who, who can't get... You know, he just needs a little help with the, with, um, I mean, it definitely came across kind of using alien technology to get people into his bed against their wishes. So I'm just going to kind of reset with Owen and see what they do with them going forward. Then there's the cleanup guy whose name I don't remember. Uh, maybe there's other people in Torchwood as well. I don't know, but those are the ones that I'm excited to get to know them more. And I've already talked longer for this intro than I normally do. I just, I've been thinking about it all week long and I'm excited to dive into this episode. So let's get back into Torchwood right now. It's your first day tomorrow. I'm excited for you. Big promotion. It's a convent. It's a plane on fire. That's awesome. Somebody say Sorry, I thought it was Smallville for a second. Oh, we're gonna start a little earlier than we expected. I've gotta go to work. <laughs> awesome! Hey, that was a great open. I like that. Tap into CCTV networks, national databases. Is this criminal? This is the police computer system. You shouldn't have this. Uh -uh. You don't want to stop saying you and start saying we. Yeah, just be grateful. You have resources. Okay, Gwen? The amateurs got here first. We can't just go in and pull rank like All we right. did at the crime scene. What's the usual formation? Berries. How can you use your formation vary? <laughs> I'm with Torchwood. Don't mess with me, little girl. You're not with Torchwood. But even if you were... You could have put out the welcome banners. <laughs> now, first of all, she's no little girl. From where I'm standing, all the right curves in all the right places. I'm worried about her guy. Like, something tragic might happen to make her single. I don't know. Time will tell. He just kind of strikes me as the kind of character that's like sweet, kind of lovable, but doesn't fit into the world she's going into. And either the relationship's gonna go sour, or something tragic will happen to him. I'm just predicting it now. I hope I'm wrong. Make yourself useful, sweetheart. Pass us the big chisel from the toolbox. Not sweetheart, Gwen. Freckles, you go. Wow. Okay, is it too early to have a least favorite character? Oh! oh! I'm a, you might awaken something. Maybe it'll eat Owen. Pink gas or pink spirit alien? <laughs> Eddie, is this all I get now? 
Interesting choice to focus on the couple and then zone in on this girl in the alley by herself. Can we if you just show up? I wish I'd never met you. <laughs> what the heck is happening? There's no readmission. Is this her or the alien? Watch and learn, boys. <laughs> it wasn't your charisma, bud. If, in fact, you have any. Yeah, you gotta check. Make sure there's no one else. That would be awkward if, uh, oh, she's looking at me and she's looking at somebody else. Oh, man. Oh, okay. We're not wasting any, any time here. Is this... If this is the alien, then I'm, like, really concerned. What what kind of alien is this? This is probably bad. What? Is, what? An alien that uses sex to feed? This poor woman. I'm so sorry. Seriously, stop saying that. Heck God, of a first day. Then I teach you up for safety in the police. You two check tools at each other, so I... We didn't miss. This has been the worst first day ever. We all make mistakes. Get over. First day's not till tomorrow. You're fine. Get a do-over. Nightclub death. Been phoned into 999. Circumstances sound a little unusual. This is all that's left. How's that possible? The question is, how did you know this used to be a body? Well. <gasps> oh. Bro, oh my gosh, she, he saw the whole thing. Dude, you are at work. We need to see that CCTV. So weird. He just came and went. <laughs> <laughs> Good joke. Same elements we recorded at the crash site. Traces all over the club, but strongest in this area. Something happened here. We have more footage. I mean, I, I feel like there's maybe two victims of the alien at this point. If it weren't for me, he'd still be alive. Well, I'll get you nowhere, that sort of thinking. It's At true. least now we know a little more. We can't let her kill again. The alien might have got out no matter what, right? Like, maybe she just sped up the process? What did you get up to last night? I can't really remember. Huh. I'm alert, I was. <sighs> Can she really not remember? I'm just so curious. You have a boyfriend? Yeah. Have you? you don't have time with this job. None of you have partners? Just you, Yubi. <laughs> Give it some time. I got a feeling it ain't gonna last. Okay, she definitely remembers. So we gotta exercise this pink sex alien. 119 suspects. This thing's supposed to give us a single clear match. I could check through the rest. Yeah, 119. You know the way. With my eyes. Certainly within the re reasonable visual analysis. It was a long shot. Uh, just a bit. At least I'm trying to do something. No, you're trying to do anything. Good cross-reference that with the addresses of the remaining face matches. Good one, newbie. That's a bit more like it. At least he acknowledges when she has a good idea and isn't just down on all her ideas. It's hungry. What happens if it starves? I know she wants to starve it. You can see she's fighting. Oh no. Website in business. Get your claws up. Steady, guys. Wow. <laughs> they found her. Oh, cool. I like that. You know the rules. None of that stuff leaves the building without my express permission. Fine. Don't fail. I mean, it worked out, but did you learn nothing from last week? See what you can find out from her. But aren't you going to help me? I don't know what I'm doing. Usually better if you don't say that in front of the huh. prisoner. <laughs> He's not wrong. You are an experienced constable, right? You have, you have a lot of experience in law enforcement. I've never been in trouble. I know there's something living inside you. And I know what it made you do. His name was Matt Stevens. <laughs> Also, there's a little, a lot, I mean, there's holes in this cage. What's to stop this gaseous being from escaping? Oh, it took over. It could jump right into Gwen if it wanted. My ship. I just want the energy. The climax. I live off that energy. Huh. You've traveled here to feed off orgasmic energy. 
There's nothing else up there like it. Yes, fight Karis. Help me. Karis. Ah. Uh, he just chills back there and relax. He's not at all concerned. Stop it before she dies, you moron. Wow. Wow. None of them are concerned. We should really get her out of there. Yeah. I mean, yeah, come on. <sighs> Took him long enough. Owen. We're cool with it. He's such a creep. I take back by trying to give him the benefit of the doubt at the at the beginning of this recording. He's got to be a man. Oh, so she's not in danger of dying. That's good. Promise me you'll help me. Promise me. You're not still at work. Right, so. What time have you done? I was about to start cooking. Oh, pity me. I'm a special ops widow. Probably it's where this is going. Oh, oh, whoa, he's still there. He's still there. Gwen, don't let your guard down <laughs> the cell containment area. Way to go, newbie. That is what I call a methodical investigation. That girl's body has been overrun by I don't know what, and you think it's a joke. Right. We should be Sorry. helping her. She's not some lab rat. No, she's a murderer. How come suddenly she's your best friend? How come he's not on the side of helping the human overcome the alien living inside of her? What's wrong with him? Is he an alien? Who's for Chinese? Aliens have no sense of household hygiene, which reminds me. Oh. Gotta pee. <laughs> so what's he told you? Wait, they don't know very much. That's right. Not who he is, not where he's from. Nothing. What's that song? <laughs> what are we doing having Chinese while a girl fights for her life? Actually, while we've been eating, the computers have been running a full bioscan on Karis. Okay. Glad something was happening, because I was kind of on Gwen, thinking the same thing as Gwen. Do you want more? As a group, they're all a little condescending. You've been hidden down here too long, spending so much time with the alien stuff. You've lost what it means to be human. Yeah. So remind us. They clearly need Gwen. This isn't about meteorites or gases. We have a trapped girl and we have to save her. Right. We have to find a way to keep her fighting. Remind her to hold on to who she is. You are brilliant. So I think we should bring in her dad. You're kidding, right? We should be helping her. When there is no If we don't, who will, Jack? Right. Are you always this awkward? This isn't awkward. This is human. This is compassion. This is prioritizing the humanity that's still living in this girl. The alien's secreting an ultra-powerful blend of airborne pheromones. Mm. Sex pheromones. Makes sense. Still want to put her father in the cell? God, no. We can't let any man near... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Of course. I mean, that was pretty much a given. Foregone conclusion. I'll deal with it. <laughs> tell Owen he needs He's to work on those abs a bit harder. Owen's lucky to still be alive, honestly. Be thankful she was only interested in your swipe card. No exit. Sorry. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Jack, how come you're not better at fighting? I feel like he should have been able to. Let's just call it the pheromones are impeding his typical fighting uh, agility. Not down. the hand. To anyone but me. I don't know why it's so valuable to you, though. Open the door. Now give me the jar. No. no! Well, he's going to save the hand. Oh, so weird. I'm trying to interpret the results of the bio scan. Yeah, but it's just a mess. Because she's fighting the alien for control over her own body. Yeah. So, anyway, I decided to do a comparative diagnostic. See what's going to happen to Karis. Yeah, thanks. It's going to be bad, I'm We've sure. The rat. Oh, the poor rat. I assume it's going to die or explode or something. Pressure increases on all the internal organs until... Pop goes rat the jam. Rat jam. No. All right, so you're Karis. You're desperate for sex because that's what the thing inside you needs. But you know it will kill. Where would you go? I'll come round and shag you. What? It's a joke. Can't I have a joke with my teammates? Uh, I don't think you've earned the right to call her a teammate just yet. I know what I'd do. You should have called. Betha might have been in. I could kill you. What was that message you left on my mobile last night? Oh, okay. Do you love me, Eddie? She's trying to look for a reason Did you ever to love fight me? harder. 
No. Jeez, he really is awful. You could have saved yourself. Are they gonna make it in time? I was thinking no. Tosh was right though. She went for the ex-boyfriend. Lucky she's young. What did you say Karis's job was? Conway Clinic. You joke. What's the problem? It's a bloody fertility clinic. Oh. Sperm donors. An unlimited supply of orgasmic energy without all the build-up. Perfect hit. Oh no. Yeah, today you? He needs more. Are fertility clinics like this open at night? Mr. Tunstar, room number one's ready now. And you don't need the magazine, I'm sure. Ah! Another one bites the dust. Seemed appropriate considering, uh... The gas needed a host because prolonged exposure to our atmosphere is poisonous to it, but our bodies are the perfect environment. So if we isolate it from Karis' body, we won't survive for long. Sounds like we have ourselves a plan. Ah, uh, there's one. How many? How many? Go to the other room. Pile of dust in each of them. How many rooms do they really need? Nowhere to run. Ah! Oh! Any second now, she's rat jam. One more, and I'll be strong. Each time it works less. Oh, it's truly like a drag or an addiction. Make me feel human. I can't. I can. Jack. I've got a surplus of alive. Wow, interesting. What's she doing? Imagine the buzz you get from the rest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but... Take my body as host, just let her live. You can't let her. Like she said. She's responsible for this. I don't think that's reason to put her life in danger, but she's gonna put her life in danger regardless because she's human and the only thing she cares about is saving the girl. Of course, it could take any of them as host, but it's gonna go after Gwen. Ah, oh, nice. Good job. It's dying. Good. Oh yeah, Dustin, just like the rest. Perfection. Horrible first case for for Gwen. You travel halfway across the universe for the greatest sex. You still end up dying alone. Thank you. I mean, Captain Jack Harkness is the reason why I kind of assume her relationship won't won't last. But there's lots of reasons uh, going against it, to be honest. Still here? Everybody else is off doing whatever it is they do when they're not here. Don't let the job consume you. You have a life, perspective. Yeah. We need that. Clearly they need that. Be normal. For me. Am I boring you? Yeah, her life is totally different now. Let's go to bed. Fitting to end the episode with her saying to her boyfriend, let's go to bed. Uh, I gotta say, it's kind of a shame the second episode of the series had what, uh, in my opinion, is a pretty ridiculous plot. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I still overall had a good time watching the episode and had a pretty enjoyable experience watching it. But really, we just got to watch how this team operates, how the team functions. And we got to allow Gwen to kind of make her first big mistake. And so I like that aspect of the episode, that she caused something that led to a lot of people dying. And that's really upsetting. That's really tragic. And she got to play a pivotal role in... You can't really say she fixed her problem, but she got a, a pivotal role in, in bringing down the, well, bad guy <laughs> that she let escape. It was really interesting kind of seeing how certainly parts of the team seem to lack that human empathy element, right? It, to me, it's like a no-brainer. Well, the alien invaded the girl's body. The girl's clearly still alive. She's clearly still fighting with the alien in this internal battle. Why is the top priority not figuring out how to separate the alien from the girl from the very moment? And that's why the team needs her because to her, that's obviously the priority. And Owen clearly didn't understand or get it. Uh, and Captain Jack Harkness also seemed to kind of struggle to get there as well. I'm curious to see 
If my feelings on Owen will develop or change over all throughout this show, please let me know your thoughts on Owen. Right now, I don't like the dude. Uh, he's my least favorite character on this show. Yeah, do you feel the same way? Do you feel differently about him? And uh, don't tell me anything from the future or whatever. I'm just going to experience that for myself and see how it goes. Overall, I'm still enjoying the show, and I'm excited to see what comes next, and I'm glad that this episode is out of the way. So... Please let me know your thoughts on this episode and feel free to check me out over on Patreon or YouTube uh, channel members as early access. You can watch the next five episodes right now and the full links over on Patreon. Check it out if you want. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one. Bye.